China's opening up actually has two effects. The first one is a spillover effect. Apart from the spillover effect, we are also experiencing the spillback effect, which means while many countries are benefiting from China's opening up, China is also benefiting from their development. Rather than buying U.S. Treasury bonds, we should invest in real economy, especially in the infrastructure construction in our neighboring countries. As their economies grow, markets for Chinese companies will expand, so it's beneficial to China as well. China's role as an importer and an investor, I think, will will be something that most developing countries would welcome because they're looking both for markets as well as for investment. As far as India is concerned, we certainly welcome Chinese investments, and we would certainly hope for better market access. In the past, we only tried to attract foreign investment, but now we are also investing in foreign countries. So we need other markets to stay open, while we open up ours to others as well. Furthermore, as China becomes stronger than ever before, our institutional reforms in all aspects have made us more resilient to risks. In the next 20 years, Asia will remain the region with the fastest growth in the world. I'm quite optimistic about that. The Belt and Road Initiative will bring about new opportunities of development to Asia.